Okay, here is a quick tutorial on how to take a bunch of photos and turn them into an animation in frames. First thing you got to do is take a bunch of photos that show the illusion of movement. If I take all of these still images and I place them together, you have the idea that they're combined to form some form of movie. And I can go backwards and, you know, whatever, but I'm just looking at a preview. This is not a movie file yet. Once you have your photos taken with whatever camera you intend to use, you take all the photos that you've selected and you put them in the same folder or the same directory depending on what vocabulary word you want to use. In my case, I named the new folder Animation Sample. And I threw them all in there and as you can see they're numbered consecutively. That's usually a good idea. Otherwise the order tends to get screwed up later when you import things. Now, I have frames open. I go up to where it says File, Edit, View, Frame, and then I go down to Add Frames from a Folder. Since all of my photos are in the same folder, I'm just going to find that folder, which I know because I just made it. It's on my desktop, and I named it Animation Sample. Your folder is going to be whatever you chose to name it. Also, your menu here is going to be a little different on a PC than it is on a Mac but hopefully you've already got the idea. Let's choose that folder. It's importing all of the photos. And there we go. Now I have this blank one here from the beginning. I could turn that into a title. Matter of fact, let's do that. Let's change the color to black. And let's add a title using the text tool. And of course, I can increase the size of my text. I can increase the size of the text window. And let's make it centered. I can also change the font and things like that. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I would want the title to appear a little bit longer than a half second. So I'm going to extend that out to three seconds in length. Or I could just you know, go over here and replace that with a number three. That works too. The rest of these, I'm going to want them to go fast. I'm going to click on this slide one, go down to slide 20, hold down the shift key when I click. They're all selected. And now I can adjust this duration again over here. For those of you who need me to zoom in, I'm just going to squeeze that over all the way to 0 0.1, which is as fast as I can make those frames be. Now, when I hit play, and there we go. Now I can do a little more with this. What if I want to be spinning around several times, not just once? Well, I'm going to click on this first one here. I'm going to go down to right before I'm facing forward again, which is this one. I'm going to shift click on this. I'm going to take all of those because that's the motion that I want to be repeating. I'm going to group them. Now all of those frames, as you can see over here in this little preview, that's them repeating over and over again. Okay, now I can take that group, I'm going to clip on it, and I'm just going to hit duplicate. Now I spin around twice in my animation. Now I spin around three times. I can keep doing that as much as I want, but let's see what it looks like if I just spin around three times. There we go. And that is pretty much a finished animation, except for exporting it. Of course, I never grade frames files. You have to export it as a movie or an animated GIF or something else, depending on the assignment. In this case, I'm going to go over to Make. I have not saved it yet. You should save your work. I'm not necessarily going to bother right now with this. Uh, so I'm going to hit No. You should hit Yes. And for the sake of this lesson, I'm going to hit web. And let's put this on my desktop. You should probably put it in your My Documents folder. It will put the suffix for me. I don't have to type the suffix.
go ahead and launch that to see what it looks like. And there's my finished movie. Now, maybe I wanted to do more with that movie. Oops. Cancel. Um, you know, I have other options. I didn't have to just have it be silent. Matter of fact, according to what you're doing, what rubric for the project you're doing, you're going to need some sound effects. Now, you could go in and record them yourself. There is a record button up here, and there are microphones available. You could also use pre-recorded sound, which is available in the library. Click on Library. Go down to Sounds. There's another folder that says Music. Don't always consider that to be the right one to go to. And I can go to Music. And I have all these different songs that I could select. Uh, let's try... Okay, well, maybe that one will work. I double-clicked on it and added it already. Let's drag this over. And now let's see what happens when I hit play. Let's rewind at the beginning. And there we go. Now I could add in credits at the end. I could add extra transitions and stuff. You probably already know how to do that from your previous experience with this program, but now you know how to take photos and turn them into a finished movie. Have fun with it.